fall clear. Sweet, sweet, sweet smokes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you two. Hey, what up, everybody? We are recovered and alive from that madness of Chicago. Man, was it a motherfucking blast. Holy whiskey. Holy smokes. Holy good times. Holy whiskey. Holy whiskey. Oh, guess what? Tom Eltang wound up being in Chicago, and he heard that I had lost my uh, poker that he had given me to TSA, and he gifted me another one. What a guy. Yeah, that was really amazing. Thank you, Tom. That was so awesome this of you. This is a poker. I do Tom think, Eltang. I think I quoted him when he gave that to you, and he said, don't lose this one, motherfucker. Yeah. And Tom... He, uh, at the same time, he comes over and he hands me this huge bag, like a trick-or-treat bag. And I'm like, what's this? And he goes, I got you a gift, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, okay. Oh, so I open it up, and it is just jam-packed full of black, Where salty is, licorice. I, I had to ship it back. It's not here oh, yet. Oh, that's right. That's right. So Tom brings me this huge bag of black licorice. And then uh, about 20 minutes later, Manduela and Re. Bring me another huge bag of black licorice and candy. And then 20 minutes later, Nikolai brings me a big-ass bag full of candy. So um, th thank you all, my my Danish friends. Uh, that meant a lot. And <laughs> and Kane will be super stoked. Oh, God. Yeah, and I'm stoked, know. Tom. And I'm smoking my Tom Elton. All right. But uh, we're, we're going to start off. We kind of just went out of nowhere there. But I uh, want to start... Uh, uh, talking about one awesome person that helped us out a bunch and came in and, uh, and uh, became our driver uh, the first day. Yeah, and, from the get go, he was on point right there. First, and we had no worries. Super huge shout out to Grandpa Bones. Grandpa Bones, Jerry. Bones, you're uh, the man. Bones uh, was picked us up at the airport. Uh, me, Dad, Elaine, and Salam, and uh, took you know we went and got food and. And had a nice chat, and then we uh, got to the hotel, and Bones yeah. helped us with everything. He was very accommodating, so thank you, Grandpa Bones, for um, for just alleviating that stress level of trying to get us to the place. And I know you were stressed out and saying, I'll get you there, get you there, and we just wanted to hang. Yeah, we, and you uh, know this, so. we enjoyed your company all weekend long, and we just wanted to give you a special shout out. That uh, that meant a lot to us, and uh, we'll never forget that. And uh, we can't mm -hmm. wait till the next time that we get to hang out. Bones is superb human being. And, and I'm uh, sorry I broke your pipe. Yeah, oh, daddy okay. broke his pipe. <laughs> <laughs> you pipe breaker, you. It was a clay pipe, so. Yeah. You know. Bones had bought two clay pipes, and I was getting ready to leave, and I went to give him a hug, and I knocked the fucking thing out of his hand. Mm -hmm. I yeah. did pick it all up, put it in the trash. Uh, what are you smoking? I'm uh, smoking a little cult, Blood Red Moon. How could I have known that? In my wonderful Tom Eltang pipe. All right, well, I am... Uh, He's awesome. I'm smoking uh, Bigfoot Flake from Cup of Joe's Uh If you haven't tried this, this is good. And you should try this because this is almost like a uh, a cherry flake tobacco to me. It's got a nice hint. And uh, thank you, Ian Barnes, IB Pipes, gifted me this. I'll give and, it a try. Uh, Ian, we had an awesome time with you all weekend. Uh, it's our second time meeting Ian. But it's a it's a, it's a time that me and Ian will never forget. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. So, There's some of those of things you on. just can't talk about. What <laughs> happens at Chicago Pipe Show has got to stay in that motherfucker. <laughs> but, uh, and... and at the other time, I'd like to thank uh, the family from uh, Cup of Joe's. Uh, the, the entire group came over and, and visited us and chatted with us. And uh, just a really <clears throat> kind group of people. And, uh, you know, I thank you guys from Cup of Joe's, all that you do. And, uh, hell, where else? Where, where should we go now? Well, um, I don't know. Uh, we get into Chicago. Bones gets us to the hotel room we check in we have a moment you know getting ourselves together and then boom we walk across the street to the smoking tent we walk in that tent we hit the bar as soon as we walk in and then 
It's meet and greet time. We went around and uh, gave Swags. hugs, gave um, hugs to everybody that we've uh, been in contact in the past. All the new people, you got hugs too. And uh, it it was a it was an insane night. Friday night. Uh, I know I got shit faced. Did you get shit faced? A little bit. Friday night? Friday night, a uh, little bit. Not too bad. Fuck Saturday it. night was my... Well, then I took shit face <clears throat> for a Friday night for you and for you, maybe. I Saturday night, I closed the tent down. Well, you closed it down with me. I went home early. Sunday, yeah. I was... In a kind of... Like, I was shit faced. It, it was definitely a, a fun weekend. A blur, for sure. We had some swigs going on Friday night, but uh, what swigs? Damn it, that, Jim Shillings, that motherfucker. Jim Shillings. Jim Shillings. We right. get we he get goes, moonshine no matter where we go. Well, yeah, yeah I don't. What if, <clears throat> I don't understand. Oh, oh, I've got this, and then Jim's like, Elaine, I've got this, but you need to try this, and the next thing you know, we're pa that finished, so we passed around something else. Sweet. Speaking smokes. of swigs, I'm swigging down a little Guinness Blonde. Goes good with the uh, Bigfoot Flake. I'm smoking it. I'm drinking a little water. That, trying that's like to the tenth time thin I've done that. <laughs> that's, that's his thing. Uh -huh. I'm drinking some Blood Moon Colt. I'm drinking wine for the first time in a week. No, so Friday night was a late <laughs> one. Uh, we didn't get back to the room till probably fuck three in the morning, and then I got up at five forty-five. Hold on, but we had a an amazing crew wake us up. Jason got up early. Um, but we had Brandy, Brandy Stout, Mark Stout, and Mark Stout and Jim Schillings knocking at our door because they promised us that they would help us in the morning to get yeah. set up for the show. And, and thank, thank you guys, thank you guys for so doing much for that. the help. Uh, Good lord, that would have been just insane. If yeah, we... Michael Riley came and helped too. That's and, thank uh, you, Mike. yeah, thank you, Mike. I mean, just uh, the guys were at the door at six a.m. I was up, ready to roll, hungover as shit with a splitting headache, but I didn't give a fuck. These guys, you know, I had to ship so many boxes of uh, product to the hotel because we just can't travel with it. <clears throat> These guys helped me load it all up, take it across the street. We were the first ones there. And, we were uh, the first ones there. And Alex was up early. Alex Bird helped us uh, tremendously. And we set that fucking booth up. And uh, we were done by like 6.45. And the show didn't start till 10.00. So we're just like, fuck, we could have slept in. Wasn't that funny when they announced, uh, like they did over the intercom, they're like, ladies and gentlemen, 2015 Chicago Pipe Show is now open. And we're like, shit, we've been here for two, three hours yeah, already. Like <laughs> two... We thought this was open a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> two, two minutes before they uh, opened the doors to the public, I had to go to the bathroom. And I go out front and it that, that, uh, that entrance, the fuck? It's monster. Oh. The entrance to the uh, convention, I mean, was jam-packed. There must it, have been hundreds down, of people in one, there. It went down all the way down to the bathrooms and then wrapped around all the way back to the front door. What's his fucking deal? Monster. We got a cat <laughs> that goes. Idiot. Hello. All right, so, uh, yeah, <clears throat> and then once the show started, Saturday was insane. Uh, I mean, so many people, uh, everybody... That stopped by the table. Uh, we just want to thank you all for your support and uh, and making the show fun for us. And we had a blast. Yeah, and like there just wasn't enough time. Yeah, we launched the uh, the shot glass poker with a shot glass, and if you bought it, we filled that shot glass up. And uh, the the guys from Chicago putting the show on, uh, they they didn't care. They they thought you know, it was great, and uh, we didn't really well. We had the cops over there. I was trying to get him to do shots, but uh, he was he was really supportive and you know kind of keeping control on things. But uh, he was cool though. Yeah, he it, was it, cool. it was fun. And the lady cop was really cool as well. Yeah, yeah. I think the the guy it, cop bought a t shirt. From he us. did. He and got a we, koozie. And we they had a, uh, a koozie. we had a Friday night party Saturday morning in the convention center, <laughs> and uh, they put us in the very back corner of the convention like we we're the last table to visit but that's the last table you need to visit because that's where the party was like we just wanted to make everybody feel comfortable and have fun 
and uh, not be like you're in a public library where you're not allowed to talk. And you know what? I was so happy to see so many YouTubers there. Yeah. YouTubers! Yeah. yeah, that was that was amazing. You yeah. YouTubers just flooded our table. We had a couple big banners on the back wall yeah. and zoom right by everybody. I bet there was 70% of the people there were wearing Dagner Pipe shirts. Oh, let's just talk about that real quick. <laughs> Everyone who got a T-shirt put about put it on right away, and you, you know what? They, that's so humbling. Like, thank you guys for just it, it putting was, them right on. It was so awesome. I was. It was nice looking at me like, oh my god, it was. Got it was black and green. That whole crowd was black and green, black and green. I was just like, holy couple captains, shit! Couple captains, couple captains. It just the the support from all you guys was uh, was incredible, and uh, you know the uh, non-support from the haters. Well, fuck you. You know, you, if you can't deal with it, uh, we're not going anywhere. Well, wait a minute. You know? What's the slogan? If you can't beat them, join them. Yeah, I mean, you, you got to get on board. And if you haven't realized what we're doing, and we are trying to to make an impact and help everybody, if you can't see through that, then I mean, we, we're serving walking papers. Well, you know? and Just, speaking of which, so we had a lot of our a lot of a lot of our you know YouTubers at our table, right? It wasn't just mm -hmm. us. It wasn't just us at our table. We had a gentleman, Jim, and his beard oil was there. Um, Rick Black. That's right. Gentleman Jim's beard oil. Rick Black. We had Rick Black beside us. Rick gifted me this pipe. Look at this Morta. Look at that. Rick did an amazing job on this pipe. Uh, thank you again, Rick, for this. Thank you, Rick. Yeah, thank you for my pipe. And Samantha, his daughter, Ugh. she's a fucking gem. Mm -hmm. Love her. I could get in a lot of trouble with that girl. Yeah, you remind me. Uh, <laughs> each of you remind me of each other. Um, uh -oh. Rick gave me this little barrel Code. poker. Super sick. And, uh, yeah, Rick gave me a wing cap, too. Oh, I didn't get a wing cap. You didn't get a wing cap? I thought mine. this was a, a uh, couple of them. beautiful pipe. Oh, shit. Just beautiful. Look out. You're, you're on fire over you're, here. You're catching the house uh, on fire. Oh. And then I had a fella that I hadn't, uh, I, I was following him on Instagram. And um, his name was Lars. I want to say Johansson, it might be Johnson, so excuse me if I'm saying it wrong, but he was a Swede, and he was a big Swede. He was a very <laughs> nice guy. And he was so nice. He walked up to me, and he gifted me this pipe. That thing is dope. And Look at that. He strictly wanted me to... That's Smoke it and give him a review. Just look at that grain. <laughs> and he wanted to be he wanted to hear what I thought of how this pipe smokes. So I'll be doing that and uh letting y'all know. His his pipes are Loma pipes, and that's because uh he lives in Loma, Sweden. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. So that's why it's Loma Pipes, but it's uh Loma Pipes at hotmail.com. If you uh, want to get a hold of uh, Lars. It's almost like a tomato squash with a heavy rustication. Am I yeah. on the right path there? Well, yeah. And what I like about it is he's got the um, the vertical grooves on this. And without even smoking it, I, I would know that that's probably going to smoke very cool. Yep. <clears throat> Mm. That thing's killer. But I was really appreciated of that, and I will, uh, I'll be doing a review on this, uh, Lars. Lars, sure. it was awesome meeting you and talking to you, and uh, we got to meet a lot of new people and a lot of old people. Uh, speaking of, look at that green, John Northern Bohemian, one of my one of my favorite YouTube guys uh, to watch. Um, Tade and uh, Mike Miller. And uh, Tom, diabetic man, I've seen those guys together. You always see them together at these shows. And uh, they're like a posse. They are a posse. And uh, Dion, and uh, you know, just amazing guys. And uh, I always look forward to these pipe shows when I can uh, see them and 
and talk to them. Unfortunately, this one, it was, uh, I didn't get a chance to really sit down and talk to them too much, but. It's a little hectic. Yeah. To, to kind of. We need to just come up your way and hang out for a couple days yeah, and just do our own thing. That sounds. Yeah. Andrew, like Andrew the Lurker was there. Super cool guy. Is that his name? Yeah. Yeah. I think Dion named well, him that. Dion or John named him that. Could be C Star McFaggot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's a, he's another buddy of ours who lives in Sweden. He's the tattoo guy. Mm-hmm. Um he's a tattoo artist and a fine one at that. God, there's so much stuff that's popping on my head. Okay, uh, so okay, may I? Yeah, go for uh, it. Uh first guy um that that I remember distinctively was uh josh niller gorilla niller gorilla and man did this guy just blow us the fuck out of the water yeah and he brought his beautiful mom patty hey patty <laughs> and um his friend i can't remember his name right away damn he's gonna kill me his buddy this is your them. this is your show. You're oh, supposed to remember. Damn it, I'm not supposed to remember. Anyways, Nella Gorilla Bright gifted us these things. First of all, he gave Jason. Check this out. This is a. This is a Nella Gorilla, pipe bag for the motorcycle. Yeah. Right. Open it up. Lined in rabbit fur. With, with Jameson. some Jamesons. But it's a pipe bag for my bike. Yes. And man, I almost lost my shit when he handed me that. The quality of this bag. It's ex it, it's intense. by far some of, some of the best work I mean, I've ever out. seen. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it, it is intense. Uh, he just fucking amazing. He gifted Dad this beautiful pipe bag right there. Look at the leather. Look at the leather work on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think you've got some goodies in there. Yeah, there's a couple bottles of Crown in there, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Yeah. And then he uh, gifted me this knife that he made. Well, he... It might this... be locked. I got more than a, a roll the Crown. It is locked. Yeah. This motherfucker. I can't believe I was afraid I wasn't going to get this back home. Yeah, I cut my hamburger with that thing. And you can lock that bitch. You can shave with that sucker. <sighs> yeah. That thing is ridiculous. Oh, yeah. And Show him that made, tamper. He made me that tamper. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. What? That thing's awesome. That was in my bag. I didn't see that. That's fucking amazing. Along with some pipe cleaners and a couple bottles of oh, crown. Oh, yeah. Josh knows how to really uh, he gave me a couple surprise bottles. somebody. He gave I drank me a my share of this wine. Saturday. All right. Well, wait. There's more. There's wait, more. There's more. Then he pulls this out. Wait for it. Oh. A hand painted <coughs> skate deck that he did for me. Amazing. And let me just tell you this. This was a bitch to fucking bring back through for TSA. This thing almost fucking killed me, Josh. <laughs> it kept uh, on knocking take, him in the head. Taking the cab back to the airport, <laughs> this, the guy took a, a sharp corner and the board came and went whack. Mm. Then in the airport, uh, it fell over and the metal on it took a chunk out of my knuckle. Yeah. I'm like, Jesus, this thing is fucking going to kill me. But anyways, it made it home and... Got it home safe, and uh, yeah, Josh, uh, super super good dude, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna really try to put everybody's information in the description. Uh, they just uh, far far exceeded my expectations. That was just uh, uh, with with the shock factor. I was just whoa. Yep. Yeah, but uh, great. we got to see uh, our friend Mitch Atomi. Mitch. Mitch. Yes. Yep. Mitch. Mitch. Um. Mitch gifted me this uh, oh, Japanese tobacco. Oh, grab my little. And thing. it's amazing. It's really good. It's called uh, Mamoyama. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, you too. <laughs> Mamoyama. And thank you, Mitch, for my um, for my like breath freshener. I was having some throat issues from all the smoke, and he gifted me this. It was just your standard. If you didn't see this, it's called. Mamoyama. <laughs> we had so many people just being so nice and, and bringing us uh, crazy things. I mean, it was 
I was starting to get worried that we were be gonna be able to get it home. So I was just like, oh, yeah, I was, shit. I was getting worried about that. But too. um, we already mentioned Jim Schillings, but I wanted to show the pipe that Jim gifted me, and he did a uh, really good job on this pipe. And, that uh, thing is, is it a shitter or a sitter? Oh, it's a sitter. Oh, I good. smoked it, uh, copper band, briar insert, ebonite stem, uh, just really nice that's rustication. That's unusual, briar that's insert. Very, yeah, that's, that's a, very, a big one. That's very talented. But Jim, wanted to thank you again uh, for this. Uh, love it. I smoked it uh, three times already. Um, let's talk about, sorry Jim, we got to cut you off. But uh, Jim, speaking of this. Jim is making pipes now, and he's, uh, for the amount of time that he's been doing it, he's killing it. So. And his Instagram name is Further. Further73, same as his YouTube channel. Um, super, super amazing guy. Super solid guy, and damn, his beard looks good. Yeah, don't cut that beard, Jim. Don't do it. Our next, our next round. Let's go, Paul Booty. Dude, Paul Booty. Paul Booty. Killer beard on that guy, <laughs> too. Man, this guy's Skate got a bro. Great, yes. He gifted all these uh, handmade. He Yeah, he handmade ceramics, and these are little flasks. He gifted us with um, Fireball. His, yeah, check his stamp out. We already drank the Fireball, Paul, yeah, so sorry. sorry we can't yeah, show it. Yeah, we drank that well, shit. Well, of course we did. Look at the, yeah. There's a skull in this one. I mean... Really, really nice work, Paul. And and he's going to make me something, and I'm not going to talk about it. But he knows what I'm talking about. Oh, sorry. The Guinness got me. Anyways, he's got ideas. He's um, he's available to to create his, you know, pottery and do whatever. But these things are fucking dope. And yeah. I like the way that you can hold them, and it's got that grip. You know what I mean? So yeah. you're like... <laughs> Paul's got an Instagram. It's Paul Booty, uh, B U T I. Not B O. Not B O O T Y. It's B U T I. And Paul's got all this. Uh, his, Where's the uh, booty go? <laughs> I got it right here. Uh, we got some uh, nice little clay pipes gifted to us from TPC Mike. Sweet Mike Lancaster, smokes. thank you so much. Sweet smokes. Sweet, sweet. I don't know where mine is. Uh, it's around here somewhere, but we have it. We didn't get too much time to chill with Mike. Mike was busy. We were busy. But uh, on his exit, he uh, he gifted us some clay pipes. And uh, thank you again, Mike. Yes, thank you very thank much. Thank you, Mike. We'll get time one day to hang out. Um, let's see. Captain, Captain Spaulding. Spaulding. Captain yeah. Spaulding gifted us with some uh, some excellent coffee. Got a great smell. Uh, we'll maybe uh, do thank a... Thank you, Captain. Arabica, 100%. Pizza life. Pizza life. Uh, let's see. Joe Case gifted us with some awesome new coffee mugs. I'm stoked about that. Just look at that grain. <laughs> yeah, we got three of these. Uh, the Heart and Pine Boys, Jesse and Tash, gifted Elaine with a little Hendrix gin. Oh, my goodness. Put a little cucumber. If you guys ever get a chance to try Hendrix gin, put it on ice. On the rocks. Hendrix, yep, and with a the little slice of cucumber. Yep, it's yep, awesome. got some uh, some leather leashes. Oh, yeah, that's on my Louie, by the way. Thank you. Heart, Thank you. Heart and Pine guys, uh, super, super nice to uh, Amazing. hang out with in person. Genuine Canadians, um, but they, uh, you got to watch them. They do a lot of bad things and try to blame it on you. Yeah, they're like ninjas. Mm -hmm. but... And they can run, let me tell you that. <laughs> Those motherfuckers can run. <laughs> I don't know what it is about those Canadians, but they got fast feet. Were you chasing them? No. No. They did not. They're running for the fear of their life. Let's see. Shit we can talk about on YouTube. What else? Oh, Minnie Mc... Minnie Mc... McNary. McNary. No, McNary. Left a bunch of his tampers, which... Show them, babe. McNary had a bunch of these. These are all handmade by him. crankshafts. In case you don't know. With? Anodized mm. powder coat. Powder coated. Anodized. Super sick. Every one of his uh, tampers are uh, precision threading. Got a poker inside of them. And uh, he left them with us. He was like, here, take them. Uh, see if you can sell them, whatever you want to do. So anybody interested in these, uh, 
Forty-five dollars. No, these are sixty-five dollars. Yeah, this one's be. John Keller's. Oh. Uh, John Keller. We took a couple of his tampers to the show, and sold one. Uh, John, yeah, we sold one. Uh, we got the Arrowhead left, but John's wanting forty-five for that. So, anybody interested, leave a comment. We'll check it in a week, probably. Um, that's the truth. We're lazy. Well, we just no, got a lot of shit to we're do. not lazy. It's just let's see. Uh, this was a shock. The uh, Seattle's uh, Pipe Club stopped by the table, gifted me uh, a new blend called uh, Pot Latch. This one here. I like the graphics. And they gifted me a bag of oh, one. Deception Pass, which I've had this one. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, I haven't tried the uh, That's Pot a Latch big sample. yet. Yeah. And, um, oh, yeah, um, let me move all this shit. <laughs> There's so much. I mean, as you guys know, there was just so much going oh. on. It was awesome. Steve Norris gave me this. This is a, uh, a fanning tool for your, uh, your stem button. Kind of fan it out. I was wanting to do that on a couple of my pipes. Um. That was really nice. Yeah, Steve. That to you. Uh, yeah, I want to thank you for that. And if you don't know Steve Norris, Steve is uh, the man uh, behind Vermont Freehand. Uh, anything pipe related for pipe making, you can buy through Steve. And our table is right beside Steve Caddy Corner. And uh, man, he had everything there. He like, had, oh yeah. my gosh! You want to start so making pipes? Go talk to Steve Vermont Freehand. He's got everything. So. Uh, just one more time, Steve, in case you watch this, want to thank you. And uh, gave me a couple of tips. Just the tip. Just the tip. <laughs> and actually, I already fanned out a bit. It took me about uh, maybe five minutes. And uh, It's somewhere on this table. <laughs> somewhere. Yeah, you don't even want to see this table. But, um, fuck, what else we got? Oh, no. Oh, let's talk about, uh, did we talk about Glenn? Oh. Glenn. Oh my gosh. Pipe nutter. Shrimp on the Barbie. Put another shrimp on the fucking Barbie. <laughs> Pipe nutter and his family, Michael and um. He's got the cutest kids. Oh my gosh. Amy. And Amy. His daughter was. Yeah. His daughter's name. Little nutter. <laughs> the the little nutters. Uh, yeah. Glenn, superior uh, human being, A wonderful father. Wonderful husband. And uh, Glenn, we hope we showed you a good time. And uh, that uh, how we do uh, pipe smoking from the YouTube pipe community in person. Oh, I think he had a clue. I just don't think he knew the, knew the level of it. And he got to experience it. Yeah. The turnout of the YouTube community was awesome. Yeah. You know, that was really good. That was Keep it up, guys. Yeah, that was uh, that was just amazing. And, you know, that was their first experience here in the States. And they got here a couple days prior, right? They stayed at Tate's house. And yep. were able to chill out for a few days, like get the jet lag over. And then they just fucking killed it. Yeah. In Chicago. Sorry. Um, They're gonna be what they're at McNair and McNary's now and then in the high Sierra. So yeah. they're, they're enjoying some like they, nature. They're getting the best relaxed recovery time you could Indeed. ever ask for right now. I mean, I'm yeah. jealous actually because I would love to be where they're at. Let's see, a couple uh well one dude I got to actually fan out on was uh Ping Zhang. Mm. Yeah, Ping Zam was Ping, uh, my I, brother. I, I've been following him for so long, and man, I love his work. I call him the Chinese El Tang, and uh, hopefully he didn't take offense to that. But Ping was awesome. Did a couple moonshine swigs with me. Uh, he I would have liked to have hung out with them a little bit more. Yeah, and uh, I want to thank uh, Steve Liskey. Uh, it was uh, the end of the night. They were closing the bar, and I went up to get a beer, and Steve's like, <laughs> no, I, I got a beer for you. I'll get, I'll get you. I'm like, no, dude, you don't have to do that. And he's like, no, I got you. Motherfucker got me like three beers. <laughs> I was like, Steve, come on. So thank you, Steve, for that, and uh, congrats on your new house, and I uh, wish you the best, buddy. I'd like to give a shout out to um, well to a couple people, but definitely Joanna and Greg from oh, yeah, Joanna and Greg. Vineyards yep. out in California. You guys are awesome. 
Um, just nothing but smiles and hugs and, and good times. And so it was really a pleasure to see you guys both. And we'll, new, we'll see you guys again for sure. Yeah, next time we're in California, we're going to come stay at your house, even if you don't want us to. Um. <laughs> 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 we're taking it. We're going to be there. Yeah. Uh, and of course, our ladies, our ladies, uh, Manduela and Re. Oh yeah, Ooh. we'll be coming uh, to stay with the ladies sometime soon. Yes, Manduela won uh, oh, pipe right. smoking championship. She got in there. Her trophy Slow was smoke like for women. Huge. Yeah, yeah. Way to go, girl. Yeah. yeah, she almost made a minute. It was very, very close. Fifty nine seconds and something. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Um, like the yeah. hour. Okay. She, she did wonderful. That's that's amazing. That was great. Rhea didn't do too bad either. She was right under her, really. It was a, a toss-up between uh, so to Rhea speak. and uh, Manduela. Let's see. I want to thank uh, Brandon Marquette. Uh, got to chill with Brandon for a little bit. Brandon gave me a bunch of aged tobacco. I don't have it here yet. I had to ship it back. But uh, Brandon, I want to thank you for that. And uh, good, good guy, good guy to uh, talk to. You need uh, tobacco information. That's the guy to go to. Uh, we got to see Rev's pipes. Rev's pipes. John, John uh, looked great. Lost a bunch of weight. He's man, looking uh, healthy. And we, we talked about martial arts, MMA. Like, yeah. keep up the good work, man. I'm, I'm motivated after mm -hmm. talking to you about that. So. And Polish Piper lost a tremendous amount Nick of weight. looks amazing nick and, uh, was he can hang too he, like, you know who he else lost weight out. uh pc smoker 13 uh i think he said he lost 60 pounds wow and, uh, him, that's awesome you guys him and nick got to chat about you know the ways they lost weight and, it's a uh, mental struggle it's not physical yeah. it's a mental and it's, nice seeing you pc smoker 13 that's big and uh i mean little and john and nick for uh losing weight and being healthy uh mm -hmm. kudos to you guys um, let's see who, what, I'm leaving out one of the most fun parts of the weekend for me. And that was, uh, joining a group of guys, uh, Jim and Kevin and Scott and Bob. Uh, they invited me to do a Beer and Backy review. That's their new YouTube channel. It's called Beer Backy. Beer Space Backy. And this was their third episode and, uh, you know, it was a learning experience, uh, but it's, it's going to be she coming back. Had fun. We had fun. You guys uh, had a blast. We, it. it was an hour long. Um, they loaded the video up, I think yesterday it's on YouTube under their channel, beer and backy or beer backy. And, uh, I'll, I'll try to put a link down in the description if you want to check that out. It's an hour long. I watched it, but hell, I thought it was entertaining as all get out, uh, <laughs> so many shenanigans and going on some. in the background <laughs> and uh you know we rate it we all drank the same beer we all smoked the same tobacco and we gave our honest opinions about it uh if anybody else that that watches it wants to try that preparing um we kinda, that's a great concept yeah we kind of really just cool. go with what we've had in our past what we think would go with it and it worked it, it was uh fours across the board and uh really want to thank those guys i had an excellent time and uh, just really, really great dudes. Uh, I, I'm glad to know you guys. I want to say that. I'm happy to be associated with all of you. You guys oh, are... I enjoy... I, I would have to say that as well. Yeah. I mean, one thing is, is... Uh, I don't even know if I should get into this, but... You know, you, the YouTube Pipe community... It, it is what it is today because of all of you. And... The videos that you make, the the subjects that you pick, the the topics that you uh, that you talk about, the commodity that comes along yeah, with everyone, and you know, there's a lot of people that don't get that and uh, think that that uh, hurts pipe smoking. Well, without the YouTube pipe community, I don't I don't think uh, pipe smoking be where it is today. And uh, I personally want to thank everybody out there that does uh, their own YouTube videos and has their own channels, and. Uh, you know, has the balls to put themselves out there on television and uh, express themselves. It's your opinion. It's your world. You do what you want. And don't let anybody knock you and try to tell you uh, what you're doing may not be right. They can go fuck off. Yeah, keep keep it up, guys. You're doing wonderful. Yeah. Well, I feel very blessed to be involved with you guys in my experience. 
you guys have introduced me to a great community uh family and friends that i would take to the grave yeah and um, you know, so mark, i appreciate it mark making change was there and mark and of, amber of yep. course he brought along grandpa and I that was a big him. hit i miss grandpa too i mean oh i didn't <laughs> it was, it was <laughs> crazy uh, uh. oh man i miss grandpa i was so bummed about that yeah. but... and if you if you've never seen <laughs> mark do grandpa and have grandpa he's got a little puppet and the face mm. on this puppet is unreal and uh he just does it so well. Yeah. God damn dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> what are you fucking hippies? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, no. there's there's so many people I'm leaving out. Uh, really, we didn't plan for this video. It was like, and it's after midnight now. It's like, if we don't do it now, we're going to we probably won't get to it tomorrow. Show. We're going to forget half. We already forgot stuff. So no. anybody that we met that we didn't mention, we're really sorry. Um, and, uh, don't take it personal it's just uh yeah maybe leave a leave a comment uh if we're not following you because it's hard to keep up with all that leave a comment we'll fucking click the name and go to the channel and sub it um uh, you know we 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 still watch videos but i can't comment i try i watched a lot of videos this morning trying to recover from the weekend and i try commenting on a half a dozen videos and i'm hitting comment and nothing's happening and i'm just like fuck it but uh, overall, it was an excellent weekend. Uh, had a blast. Uh, we will be in Chicago next year. I booked the whole back fucking wall. So yeah, he, he did. did from exit sign to exit sign. That's yeah. right. We're having a big fucking banner. That's gonna going... be a YouTube pipe presenter back wall. And if you want a table, you can come to me, and I'll give you a table. Yeah, and, you got uh, room. We're going we're gonna to have that whole back wall. Because that was the thing I didn't really like is like, you know, uh, a lot of the guys uh, making pipes or, or bags and materials, selling stuff, they were all over the place. And I'd rather us all be together. And we had our own little party in the back corner. Well, next year we can have a big fucking party all the way yeah. across. Indeed. And uh, Well, you know, anywhere we go, we party. <laughs> yeah. We party hearty. <laughs> so... That's my the liver, plan for next year. My liver's glad I'm home. <laughs> and uh, I guess, you know, right now we're all tired now. So we'll probably forget something, remember it. We'll mention it in the next video. Uh, only other thing I can say is if uh, you thought Chicago was fun. Uh, just wait till Nashville. Just wait till Nashville because I've, I've been told for years that i got to go to Chicago. Got to go to Chicago. It's the best, best pipe show in the world. And it was great. But, uh, you know, Nashville started out from a YouTube pipe presenting show. I was at the first one. I was there beside Joe Case. Me too. And the Nashville show is going to stay YouTube social media pipe event. And uh, I hope everybody can make that show because... What, what is it, five months from now? Yeah. I promise you it's going to be one that you will never fucking forget. And I think some of our Danish friends are going to be there as well. Ooh. Possibly. Possibly. The more the merrier. Speaking of Danish, we got to meet Tony Nielsen, which was an awesome dude. And uh, look out for Tony because he might be on YouTube soon as a pipe presenter. Ooh. But uh, with that said, make plans the weekend, September 25th, 26th, 27th. It is going to be a pipe show you do not want to miss. And if I'm sitting here repeating myself and promising you shit, <laughs> it's because I'm not telling you a lot of shit that's going to happen. Because that's the way I roll. I don't unleash the beast until it's time. And that's the weekend of my birthday? It'll, it'll be Elaine's birthday weekend, so it's even going to be better. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh -oh, She's going to uh -oh, be uh -oh. the big 25. 25. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yep. I'm a cradle robber. <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> All right. God damn, we're at 39 minutes. You guys want to do it? You if you do guys it? lasted this long, holy shit. Let's do an even 40, you know? Oh, okay. We can do a 40. Uh, other than that, you should really, really. Start scheduling your vacation for Nashville. Check out all these guys, too, that, uh, you know, Niller Gorilla, Paul Booty, 
Um, you know, Heart and Pine. I mean, these are all solid guys. Uh, Super shout out, Pete Prelist. That's there coming you go. to the table and doing swigs with me. Pete, dude. that was awesome, dude. Swig, swig, swig. Yeah, Pete's a Pete's a good dude. He came over and hung out for a bit and chilled and re appreciated that, Pete. All right, we'll go Nashville, September 25, 26, 27. You don't want to fucking miss that motherfucker. Trust me. Here we go. Here we go. We out. Got Adios, wow, we go. wow, motherfucker. Oh, we thought we were gone. We're back. No. Just one more thing. We had one man, the myth, the legend himself there, documenting the whole weekend. Salam, one man smoke. Expect a crazy video coming from the OMS network. YouTubers, YouTubers, YouTubers. YouTubers. Personally, want to thank Salam for uh, taking the journey with us and uh, being there to capture and help us. And. Uh, Meant a lot. Meant a lot. Love him. We love you, brother. Yep. Yep. No worries, man. Now we can do it. Do what? We can exit the video. Tom, <laughs> this is wonderful. I can't tell you how how much I, I love this pipe. And any of you out there that can afford a high-end pipe uh, sometime in your life, you may want to try to get a Tom L. Tang pipe because uh, it's a great smoker. And uh, I just can't say enough about it. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. We love you, buddy. Elaine, Aunt I want Pia. you to come over here and hang out with me. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. What happens in Chicago stays in Chicago. All right, we've got to go. Bye. We... Adios, amigos. Bye-bye. Wild hog. See you guys soon. Woo. Ah. What? You thought we forgot you? Mm -mm. Hey, you two. We just forgot to add some names. Yeah. All <laughs> right. <No. clears throat> After we finish the video, we're just like, oh, man, I know we forgot somebody. Shit. We forgot about 20 people. <sighs> Maybe 30, but 20 that we can remember now. First person that came to mind after we stopped the video, Sparky's Pipes. How can you forget Sparky. Uh, we love Scott. We've had uh, one hell of, a, of an adventure over the years. Uh, Scott got to experience more of my uh, stupidness more than anybody. But, Scott, uh, Scott brought a cane that he did, and it was beautifully done. Oh, yeah. The car. Well, he was, yeah, I, I mm. meant to comment to him about that. Um, yep. And Scott brought his truck, which was the human poor Olette for the Chicago <laughs> Pipe Show. <laughs> Everybody fucking peed on his truck because they didn't have any poor olets out there and you had to walk a quarter mile to go piss somewhere. But, uh, Scott, we miss you already. I can tell you something funny. What? There was, behind the building, there was a fence, so I was going and pissing on the fence at first. I was pissing on the dumpsters. And Joanne decided, well, that's a lot quicker, too. I'll just go back there. <laughs> well... I went back there after she'd been there, and you could tell that she'd been there because she, she she picked the middle of the road. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a big old uh, fucking puddle yeah, there. Girl, yes, <laughs> Hold on, yes. was she wearing her Menduela panties? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she was uh, Saturday night. She oh, was showing my, those uh, that was, that's those awesome. pink panties. All right. Uh, Just too bad y'all didn't have make room for Jason for that slow smoking contest because yeah. he'd wore some Mandela panties. Yeah, I was. Uh, I went to register for the uh, slow smoke, and they're like, "Sorry, it's booked." And I'm like, "Shit." Well, whatever. Yeah, they said they um, sold out in like two or three hours after yeah. they opened it. Um, and one person, I, I literally, I got the hug, and I never saw him again. Was Lee Jin piping ain't easy. I That's saw him seriously. seriously. Yeah. I saw him for about two minutes. I, I never saw him the entire weekend after that. My Babe, I, where the fuck did you go? Babe, I saw him in the front door as he was going to the airport. Well, I saw. Um, I, I don't know. It's like he came there for a couple hours and left. But I saw Mike. Um, every time I went to the bathroom, I walk by Mike's <laughs> table and I say, "Sweet smokes, sweet yeah. smokes." So. Uh, Pipe ain't easy. Uh, we need more time, and hopefully you go to Vegas. Hopefully you come to Nashville. Yeah. Uh, I got to meet JD's pipes. Uh, awesome energy from that guy. Uh, super, super cool dude. Um, West Coast Piper 70 and his 
female companion. I don't know if it's your wife or girlfriend. I didn't. This is girlfriend Virginia. Virginia. Yeah, and like the thank, tobacco. Yeah, thanks. Thank you guys for uh, getting me back to my room. I ran out of tobacco, so. What was the name of that lady that uh, does the um, the pipe magazine article? Emily. Emily. Emily, you sweetheart, you. She forgave me for some awfulness that happened in uh, Las Vegas. So Emily's awesome. Yeah. Emily does a lot of traveling and like yeah. she's yeah. really involved Emily's in uh, cigars and everywhere we go, Emily's there. Yeah. What a big person. She's an e girl. Um, Boontar and Skipsy. Forgot to mention these guys. Uh, you know, me and Boontar got to hang out uh, Sunday night at the uh, smoking tent for a while and good to just chill. Um, Huggy Bear. What a what a cool dude. Yep. We that met That guy's got a sense of humor. He's yeah, a smart he's funny. ass. Yeah. Uh Huggy Which I like, by the way. Huggy and Grandpa Bones energy together. Those guys side by side. They were like brothers, it's, weren't they? It's like comic relief is yes. what it is. <laughs> yes. So Oh, it was great. Uh I, I hope that both of you guys come to Nashville. <laughs> uh we we need uh we need a Huggy Bones show in uh Well Bones was there last year. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I, Huggy was there last year. Huggy Bear, too? Yeah, yeah. Well, come back, guys. And Huggy's wife? Yep. She was so sweet. Huggy's she, wife has pretty eyes. I, well, she was just she was just getting drinks That's and making sure that everyone was uh, happy. And that was her presence, and I appreciate that. Elliot from Hawaii. Still drinking. Oh, we're still drinking. Well, we are still drinking, but <laughs> Elliot is still drinking. We understand it. <laughs> Elliot, uh... Really, really cool. Uh, just meeting you and, Energy uh, was amazing. and talking to you. It was a good deal. Yeah. Uh, let's yeah. see. Brandon Brooks. And, oh, Brandon. Uh, I got to apologize to Brandon. I was trying to post uh, the uh, a picture of the pipe that he was uh, donating for wounded, uh, wounded veterans. Wounded for warriors. Yeah, wounded for warriors. Yeah. And, man, I just, it got so crazy there. I just, I never got time to do it and. Uh, just apologize for that. And he's nothing but smiles too. Yeah, Brandon Brooks is uh, super energy, super energy whenever he's around, and the second best dressed guy at any pipe show. Nobody can outdo Steve Morissette. That guy dresses to impresses and makes fantastic pipes. And I got to say hi to Steve uh, for a brief second, and then I stole a beer and ran. Um, <laughs> stole a beer and ran. I stole away. it from I stole it from Tom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just went Tom hijack, was, motherfucker. Well, Tom yeah. was showing Steve his pipe bag. He got this pipe bag at a uh, like an antique store or something. No, you know, Goodwill. He said, and it was a really nice old vintage leather bag, and it held I don't know. I think there was eight or ten pipes in there. Uh, the way it folded up, really cool. Um, Storm Castle Pipes, got to meet him, uh, super cool dude, um, uh, Jay Piper, uh, I think he got Party Award of the Weekend because he got so fucked up, he just got up and left, left his fucking pipes, his bag, uh -oh. and the rest of his shit, uh -oh. and we're like, where'd Jacob go? <laughs> but he got his pipes and we bags back after that? Yeah, they, they took because it up to the Because that's the type of community we live in. Yeah, we took care Helping of them. each other out. But, uh, yeah. Him and Nick, I think, were the Well, the Rick most... did that, too. I, I got his bag off the table. He left his uh, pipe bag on the table. Well, look at him. So I, I gave it to him the next day. That's it. That's, that's wonderful. Also, I want to thank uh, all the guys from Mac Barron that came over with the support and uh, hung out and talked to us. Yeah. Great dudes. Got to meet him in Denmark. Uh, just, uh, very, you know... You talk to them, you learn something. Even if it they, they come over and introduce themselves, you're going to learn something. You're such uh, a baby. Just really, really got good guys. Got um, got Kaylee, Queen of Cobbs, uh, she showed up. Uh, I think she had the best hair of the weekend. Yeah, I saw you, you Kaylee, um, and I saw your pink hair stripes, and I thought it was cool, but then I never really got a chance to talk to you. So I hope you had a good weekend, and uh, maybe next time. Girlfriend. You know who we didn't mention? And how can you not mention this guy if you mention Joe Case? Rick Farrow. I mean, really? Oh, uh, yeah, Rick. Rick. Uh, <clears throat> I actually got Rick some free pipes. Uh, the guy came up to me. He's like, hey, I got a bunch of these state pipes. Uh, you want them? What? And I said, really? 
No, but I got a buddy that'll take them. He'll restore them. And uh, I sent them over to Rick's way. And, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so... Uh, I'm looking forward to spending time with him. And, Rick and is Joe so nice. And, and uh, they're, they're funny. Oh, the they're two, hilarious. The, yeah, the together. two of them together are like huggy and bones. <laughs> they're like, like the they, odd they couple. They feed off each they're other. They're like the odd couple. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, the, we mentioned the uh, beer backy, but uh, Gentleman Jim, Ramblin' Scotsman, Bob Wick, Mick, uh, you know, just want to thank you guys again. That, that, that was an awesome show. And, you know, we tried our best to make it professional, but, you know. We kind of we kind of fucked that up, <laughs> but it was fun. What do you mean? It was just fun. It was just uh, we yeah we just we we it needed, was all good. It was yeah. It was the way it meant to happen, and that's the yeah. way it works. We're gonna so. we're gonna we're gonna learn from mistakes, and we're gonna make it better. Why, why are you <laughs> saying that? It was all <laughs> well, going to Tennessee, it's caramel apple when we get to Tennessee. Yeah, shit, there may be a beer backy show at uh, <laughs> with <Nashville>. moonshine <laughs> instead of maybe uh, a couple episodes there. <laughs> Um, and you know, the, uh, the whole Chicago pipe show chat, uh, the boxer <coughs> chat that we did, uh, I mean, months and months and months getting to this show. Um, Michael Bradley, um, you know, that's where I met him on there and, and seen his Instagram and got to meet him. Real cool dude. People kept mistaking, uh, Michael for Kevin Twyford. And, uh, I actually called Michael Kevin one time. I was like, Hey Kevin. No, it's Michael. Wow. I, it's Michael. It's Kevin. I did it on purpose. Because <clears throat> they look alike without the, the goatee. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, I'm trying to think. Trying to think. Gateway City Pipers. Those dudes. Gateway City Pipers. Nice meeting you guys. Um, Trans STL. Who else? Who else am I forgetting? Uh, Marcus Celtic Road. Let me taste that beer. No, it's good. Oh, Marcus, shit. Uh, uh, one of the beer? last giveaways we had, Marcus uh, sent a, a, a you know beer. a really bombing box, uh, pipes, tobacco, tampers. I mean, all Not kinds so of stuff to add to the giveaway. And uh, I, <laughs> I, I gave Marcus one of my Petersons that he was wanting for a while, and I knew I was, you know, I was already gonna take it there, but then he wasn't coming to Chicago. Then he showed up at Chicago, and I took it anyways, and I gifted it with him. So, enjoy the pipe. I already fixed a tenon on it, so it'll smoke good. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, musical Piper. Remember him? Lucas? Super cool. Nice dude. My bad. Um, let's see. Karen, Nikolai's wife. Yeah. Yep. She wasn't. Hi, hi. She, she was in the pipe show more on Sunday. Saturday, she was at the pool. She got. <laughs> she she got red. Out. She got red. She did get and red. And then on Sunday, she was tan. Yeah. And uh, Karen, such a sweetheart. Yep. She uh, sure is. You know, support Nikolai and and all the chaos that he deals with. Uh, you you deserve an award because. Mm. Uh, it ain't piping. Ain't easy. It ain't easy. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. But let's see. Damn it, we're gonna forget more people. Well, it's nothing personal if we did. No, by all means. It's, yeah, we'll, uh, yeah like, we'll think about it, and we'll, next video we'll give you a shout out. Yeah, it's been a long, it's been a long weekend and oh, overwhelming of a love and a. I can get up till noon. <laughs> Oh, you had a double shift. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I had to work a double. <clears throat> All right, we better stop this. We might be at an hour. Okay. Let's do our third ending. Our Bye. Third. Right, yeah. Adios, amigos. Bye. Bye. Bye.